Oh, tuberculosis, so we all know that uh, if we treat TB patients shorter than six months, they have relapse problem. And the relapse, in the case of tuberculosis, we can see that easily. This is shown by bacteria found in the sputum. But in the case of Lyme, it's much more complex because the bacteria after treatment, they turn into a form that cannot be cultured. I think this is really the main issue that really creates all the controversy between different camps. And I understand the IDSA's stand, standpoint of view, where they think you know, treatment uh, with two to four weeks uh, of antibiotics. For the early Lyme, it, it's okay. But for the chronic persistence stage, for the late stage of the disease, oftentimes this is not sufficient. So that's where our work comes in. This is really based on the experience of treating tuberculosis, where you know, we know that in the case of TB treatment, we need drug combination. But it's not any drug combination. It has to be the drugs that really kill the, both the growing forms and more importantly, killing the non-growing persister forms. I think for the future, I th would suddenly like to see how these drug combinations uh, going to uh, work uh, in animal models initially and then in patients and uh, also I think you know uh, it's important to really get the two camps to work together you know on the one hand we have this IDSA then we have the islands and they really focusing on you know different spectrum two opposing uh, end of this uh, continuing spectrum of the disease. You know, uh, they seem to more focusing, one camp seems to be more focusing on the early line where it doesn't need a long term treatment, whereas the other camp seem to more focusing on those chronic patients that don't quite respond well to treatment. They're both right. You know, on the other hand, it's just a it has to do with human, human psychology, human nature, uh, where people's attention seem to want to focus on one aspect, using this one part to really represent all. But that's just part of the story. They, it really, together, I use this yin-yang model to be able to really... That's just two different aspects of the same disease. And, uh, you know, I think with more research, I see this gap in between them is going to become smaller and I see them to really, uh, I think changes are already underway, so based on uh, more recent studies, uh, but I think of course more work is needed and more funding is crit critically needed in order to support the work, to keep the momentum going. Uh, so that's my hope. Is I mean, in the end, I would like to see these research uh, will turn into useful products that can really help patients. I know patients suffer a great deal, and really feel for them. And I hope that these, you know, new results can turn into better therapies, yeah, uh, better diagnostics uh, for patient care.